What's going on guys? Ronnie Demon of Project 2.0 back again. We got some TRXs behind us and I'm going to show you guys a little bit of TRX 101. start out with letting you guys know what is the TRX. So the TRX, you see it here, you may see them in the gym that you have or you may have never seen this before, but I'm going to show you guys how you can use this thing to your advantage in your workouts. So starting out, we have our TRX. At the top here, there's a clip that you can clip onto the provided strap that comes with it and then you can anchor that to something up high. So whether it be a functional training rack, whether it be a cable machine, whatever, you can clip it on up there. Then we have the straps themselves. These are adjustable and I will be showing you guys how to adjust them. Down here at the bottom, we have our two handles with rubber grips because once you get sweaty, you don't want to slip if you're holding on to these handles. And then at the very bottom, we have these adjustable straps where you can make them come down a little bit more or you can shorten them up depending on the exercise that you're doing. Also, another important thing that you need to take note of is that up here at the top where it's near that anchor point, there is a safety loop that's built in. So if you were to pull on one side and you lose one hand, it's going to slip, but it's going to catch. So you can use this to your advantage if you want to do stuff like single arm or single leg or I'm gonna show you guys how you can adjust the handles so that it's with one handle. So now I wanna show you guys how you can adjust the height of the TRX. Because if you come up to it and it's at a certain height and you're doing a specific exercise, it may not be the right height for what you're doing. So to start out, there's a buckle that you can see here. What you do is you pull that down and if you wanna make this longer, you grab the strap and pull it out. So now we have a much longer strap where we can do stuff that is ground based. And if you need to make this a little bit higher, you do the same thing. You pull down on that strap. There's a yellow tab here. You just pull that up. And as you can see, it's going to make it a little bit higher. Okay, so this is going to be good for doing stuff like pull-ups or anything where your arms are coming up over your head. So we learned how to make adjustments to the TRX, and I mentioned it, the different exercises require different heights. So now I wanna go through the different positions that you can place this at, a couple of cheat codes, that way you know where to line it up, specifically towards you, that way you can do some of these exercises correctly. Our first position, we're gonna start from the top down. So this one is going to be chest height. So you know where your chest is, we're gonna adjust the straps, so that the rubber handles that we mentioned before is right at about chest height. So the straps are adjusted here at the top, at the chest. This is going to be good for doing stuff like pull-ups, like I mentioned before. Our second height is going to be hip height. So this is where the majority of exercises can be done at. We're using the rubber handles as a guide once again. You want to adjust the strap so that they come down and they're right even with the hip bone. So both straps are even with my hips now. Now I can do several different exercises from this position. And our last adjustment that I want you guys to be able to make is if we're doing anything that's ground based where you place your heels or your toes inside, you're doing something for back to legs or a core movement, you want to have this, the, uh, the bottom loops, come down to about mid shin. So about right there, you look at it, it's about mid shin. All right, so another foundational thing that you guys need to know about the TRX is that you can actually change how much resistance is being added to it. Whenever it's straight vertical, that's gonna be the most amount of resistance. If you need to make it a little bit easier, you change the angle so it's coming directly out, and that is gonna make it a little bit easier for you. Whenever I'm working with clients, I have them auto-regulate, and they kinda of know what to do. If an exercise is way too difficult, they move themselves 
up forward or backwards, depending on what the exercise is. But if I see them doing something and it looks way too easy, we have them go more vertical. So now we're gonna have to come up a little bit closer for this one, but I'm gonna show you guys how you can put the handles together so that if you're doing a single arm or a single leg movement, you can just grab one of these handles. So we wanna take note of this little triangle here that we have at the top. If you take your handle and place one through, pull it out, and then take that handle that you just put it through and put it through the opposite one, like that, then you're going to lock this into place. Then you push down on one, give it a test. Before you start any exercises or any movements to make sure that it's locked in place, you always want to grab this down handle whenever you're doing a single arm or a single leg movement to make sure that you don't fall over. So I encourage you to test it out first to make sure that you're grabbing the right one because if you grab the wrong one, it's gonna start slowly, slowly coming apart. It'll go that way and then it's gonna end up slipping and you may hurt yourself. So we've learned what the TRX is. We've learned how to adjust it to different heights. We've learned what those different heights are. And now I wanna show you guys a couple of different exercises. But first, before we do anything, we wanna make sure that you're going to be safe whenever you're doing these exercises. So we're gonna test it out to make sure that it's secure and in place. So first you wanna give it a visual look. Here at the top, is it going through my loop? Yes, check, okay? Then we make sure that our straps are lined up at the same level. From there, you can take a step back, give it a pull. If the strap at the top is not coming unraveled, then you know you're gonna be safe for exercise. So make sure you always check it first because I've had it happen to me before where I assume that it is latched on there where someone else before me had tried to put it up there and it wasn't secure. You don't wanna go flying back, hitting the ground whenever you're doing an exercise. So now we're gonna get into a couple different exercises that you can start incorporating into your workout routine. First up, we're gonna start with some TRX pull-ups that I mentioned before. So we're setting up the handles at chest height. You wanna grab the rubber handles, sit back like you're sitting in a chair, arms are up straight in front of the body, bring those shoulders back and pull yourself up till the handles touch the ribs. Keep the elbows nice and tight to the body whenever you're doing this and focus on using your lats and biceps to do the movement. As I said before, if you need to make this a little bit easier, you just take a step back and if you need to make it a little bit harder, you come further up under. Remember, we're not using our legs on this movement. They're just simply there to prevent us from swinging back and forth. All right, so the next movement we're going to do is more of a horizontal pull. You want to set it up where the handles are about hip height this time. Grab them, lean back, hips come up, shoulders come back, pull yourself up and come back down. If you need to make this a little bit easier, you walk your way up, so you stand up a little bit more, and if you need to make it tougher, you come further up under it where the straps are more vertical. Our next movement is gonna be for the biceps. You can leave it at that hip height level. Grab it so that the palms are face up. Lean back. We're keeping the upper arm out in front of the body. Curl yourself up, bringing those hands in towards the face, and back down. Really focus on squeezing the biceps throughout this entire movement. That way you get the most out of it. Then we're gonna take it to the opposite side of the arms. We're gonna work our triceps now. And for this one, you wanna start out with the straps over the shoulders, knuckles facing down towards the ground. Bring the arms out like you're Superman. Keep the core nice and tight. Drop the hands behind the head and press yourself back up. There's a couple different movements that you can do for your legs 
by holding on to this or putting your feet inside. So I'm going to show you one that you can do while holding on to it. Handles are hip height once again. Grab them. Come back. I want you to raise one leg up. Sit back like you're sitting into a chair. Come down and push through that heel to come back up. The straps are just here to prevent yourself from falling backwards, to provide a little extra stability. But try to come down, drive through that heel to come back up. Our next leg movement is going to be with our foot inside the TRX handle down here at the bottom. So this one's set up where it's about mid shin height. You grab it, place that foot inside, come out, push back on the foot that is inside of the handle. Drop down, lunge, push through that heel to come back up to the top. Down and back, drive, come back up. Squeeze that glute to the top, squeeze the quad as well. Now we're gonna take it down to the ground. And for this one, to place your feet inside of this, for anything where you're working the glutes or the hamstrings, you wanna grab the handles down at the bottom, lean back, drop those heels inside. That's the easiest way to do this. If you lean back and then grab it and try to fish one in at a time, it's gonna be uneven and it's gonna be super difficult. So grab it, come down, place those heels inside. I want you to bring the legs out straight, hips up, squeeze the glutes, that's gonna turn them on. Curl those legs under you and come back out. At the top, you should have a straight line from your knees, hips to shoulders. And finally, our last one, we're gonna do a core movement. So I want you to place your feet inside with the toes facing down. Make sure the handles are nice and even with each other. Flex those toes towards you. Come into a push-up position and bring both knees in at the same time and come back out. So this is just like doing a crunch, but you're bringing the knees in, focusing on squeezing the abs and preventing the hips from dropping down. We wanna keep a straight line from the back of our head through our heels this entire time. All right guys, so that is it for the video. If you liked what you saw and you wanna learn a few more exercises, I do offer online coaching. Link is in the description down below to my website where you can find out a little bit more information about that. It is online training where I make custom workouts based off of your fitness goals, where you are in your fitness journey, and also on the equipment that you have available to you. You can do at-home workouts with very little equipment, or if you have access to a gym, I can program for you as well. So make sure you go check that out. And as always, if you like the video, go ahead, smash that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about anything that I did or if anything was unclear, or if you have any suggestions for future videos. And make sure you subscribe to the channel, that way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thank you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you don't dip down to the hips. Get this damn thing off of me. Ah!